Welcome to Expert Azure Academy. This is Giri, lecturer in physics. In this video, we discuss about the second Faraday's experiment on electromagnetic induction and the law of Faraday's electromagnetic induction. The law of Faraday's electromagnetic induction. See this. Faraday's experiments on electromagnetic induction. In before video, we discussed about the Faraday's first experiment. In this video, we discuss about the Faraday's second experiment. Okay. Look at this electric circuits. This is the primary circuit this is the secondary circuit so how to identify primary or secondary circuits primary and secondary circuits here battery conductor key is inserted in this circuit so that's why it's a primary the galvanometer is inserted so that's why this is the second circuit okay so what is the internal concept in this faraday's experiment internal concept is how to generate the emf and also how to observe the production of induced current in the circuits so that's the meaning of electric magnetic induction main theme is experiments on the electromagnetic induction you have to find the electromagnetic induction process it's nothing but a the generation of electromotive force and induced current okay look at this when the primary circuit is closed this is the closing position of the primary circuit close current grows from zero to maximum value zero to maximum value obviously here current generates from battery positive terminal to negative terminal here current is maximum okay next here during this period current induces changing magnetic flux across the primary coil so what happened in this current is generates in primary coil current is generates in primary coil this current passes through this inductor sorry conductors in this conductor there is a production of the induced current there is a production of the induced current so how to identify the induced current already there is a electrons in the conductors these electrons are randomly moving in that conductor so there is a small amount of current is generates in that conductor it's very negligible amount now we are generating the electric current by using the battery this is opposite to the direction of current generates by the electrons inside the conductor before connecting the battery so that's why consider this current is a induced current okay here current induces okay this is induced current 
changing magnetic flux across the primary coil. So what is the meaning of magnetic flux? Magnetic flux is nothing but a the number of magnetic field lines moving towards or moving or passing through some area. So simply magnetic flux is nothing but a number of field lines. Number of field lines. Okay. So these field lines are moving in this particular area. A flux is generates. Okay. Here, so finally, what happened in this primary coil? Current is induces, flux is generates. Coming to this, this changing magnetic flux is linked across the secondary coil and induces EMF in the secondary coil. Here, this circuit is connects with the secondary coil by using the galvanometer. That means galvanometer is inserted in this coil. So that's why it converts into a secondary coil. Okay. So here we observe the induced EMF. It's nothing but a induced current. It's nothing but induced current. Okay. So induced EMF or induced current. So there is a production of induced current or induced EMF. That is electromagnetic induction. See this induced EMF and hence deflection in galvanometer lasts only as long as the current in the primary coil and hence the magnetic flux in the secondary coil change. Okay. So what happened in this experiment? Finally, there is a primary and secondary coils here. The current is generated in primary coil by using the battery. Here there is a galvanometer connection in this two connections there is a production of magnetic flux at the same time induced current the production of induced current it's nothing but the production of induced emf so that's why here electromagnetic induction is generates so this is the observation from the faraday's second experiment coming to Next topic in this video that is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Okay. See this. Whenever the magnetic flux linked with a closed loop, closed loop or closed coil, closed loop or closed coil, and EMF. And EMF that is electromotive force is induced and hence electric current flows in the current. This current is called an induced current and the EMF giving rise to such current is called induced EMF. This phenomenon is known as electromagnetic induction. Now only we discuss about the what is the meaning of induced current. So that is uh, simply the production of induced current at the same time the production of induced EMF. It's nothing but electromagnetic induction. Okay. There is a two types or uh, two laws which is states by fad assessments. Observe that first law. Whenever magnetic flux linked with a closed circuit changes, the flux is changes and EMF induced in the circuit, which lasts in the current. A circuit as long as the magnetic flux is changing. So, what is this first law? What is the meaning of the first law? The first law meaning is EMF is change. EMF is change, which is generated by the change in magnetic flux. So that's why both are equal. A change in EMF that is equal to change in flux. That is the first law. Coming to second, the magnitude of induced EMF in a closed circuit is equal to time rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the circuit. Here we discuss the EMF is 
induced in the circuit which last in the circuit as long as the magnetic flux is changing so magnetic flux is changing at the same time here emf is induced so we both this both loss indicating only about the induced emf and also rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time okay so these are the faraday's two laws and also faraday's second experiment on the electromagnetic induction so thanks for watching this video for more videos visit www.expertiseacademy.com thank you